Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today we're going to talk about uh, determining rates in spreadsheets, uh, and specifically using a Google Sheet uh, and running some formulas that I have listed here uh, to add up uh, some columns of COVID data uh, at Big Ten universities uh, and also determine a rate, uh, the number of cases, positive cases per 1,000 students. Um, so if you want to hit pause, uh, and download this spreadsheet. It's this bit.ly link right here. Uh, this link is also available in your description uh, underneath this video. Uh, so you can just click on it in there or just type it in off of here. So hit pause for a second uh, and go ahead and get that open up, opened up. Uh, click on the second tab at the bottom of the spreadsheet uh, to open up the data we're going to work with. Okay, welcome back. Um, this should be the spreadsheet that you've opened up and uh, downloaded. Uh, as you can see here in our header row, uh, we have the, our la labels here of the university's name from the Big Ten Conference, uh, total number of COVID cases, uh, their enrollment, uh, number of students uh, enrolled as of 2020, fall 2020, uh, and then cases per 1,000 students, which we'll do here. Uh, determining rates helps normalize data. Um, it takes into a, a account population. Uh, for example, you know, homicide rate in Chicago, we have a high number of homicides here in Chicago. Uh, you know, typically, you know, anywhere from, from six to 900 over the past 25 years per year. Um, but uh, when you figure in population size, you know, that rate, you know, drops significantly compared to the number of murders maybe in uh, uh, homicides in maybe someplace like St. Louis, a uh, smaller population, or uh, Gary, Indiana, or someplace like that. Well, same is true here. Uh, as you can see, you know, Northwestern University didn't have that many cases uh, of positive COVID-19 tests uh, in fall 2020. It also has a very small student population. It's the smallest in the conference. You had many more cases here at Ohio State University, but they also have more than double, almost triple, the number of students that Northwestern has. So, of course, you're going to have more cases. Um, but they also had a much higher case per 1,000 students as well. Um, so, you know, I could sort this, uh, you know, uh, by column C and, you know, see who has the most. Of course, it's Ohio State, uh, you know, followed by, uh, I believe it's Penn State uh, and, you know, a few other schools here. You know, Penn State, uh, Indiana was right in there uh, as well. University of Illinois had uh, a high amount. Uh, as did Michigan uh, State as well. But when you figure in that case per 1,000 students, uh, you get a little different uh, uh, look at it. Um, so down here at the bottom, um, we're going to do totals first, meaning we're going to add up all these columns. The total number of cases per conference, the enrollment per, conf uh, per, per for the entire conference, uh, and then also cases per 1,000 students. Those formulas appear here. Uh, B17 is equal sign sum. We're going to add up all of the cells in column B2 to B15. Uh, in uh, C17, we're going to add up all of the C2 through C15 uh, uh, data. Um, so I usually just you know write my formulas equal sign sum B2 colon B15. Uh, and it actually gives you the answer here uh, you know, before you even hit return. Um, you know, 41,000 cases total, which is good. You know, it's a good data point for your story. Uh, and then we're going to write the formula here for column C, equal sign sum. And you could just cut and paste these in since I gave you these uh, formulas already. This works horizontally as well. You can do these, uh, you know, cross rows as well. If you're totaling something up that way. And, you know, we have 607,000 students attending Big Ten uh, universities uh, at that uh, point in time in the fall of 2020. Uh, the formula over here, uh, which is uh, D17, we're going to normalize it. We're going to divide B17 uh, by uh, divide B17 by C17, and then star 1,000, which will be per 1,000 students. So equal sign B17 slash C17. We're going to divide the number of cases by the number of students. And then we're going to apply the normalization per 1,000 students. You get 68.1. So that's the average. That's uh, the average among all of them. So, you know, as we determine each school's row here, 
uh, you know, it will be measuring it against that, that average, okay? Um, so with this one, we're going to do equal sign C2 slash or B2 slash C2. Star 1000. Hit return. It also suggests that you autofill this, uh, which you can just check this uh, check mark. You can also copy this and just paste it uh, in all these col or all these columns, so you can uh, determine the formula. You don't have to write the formula for each one. Uh, and it already rounds these off. If you get a bunch of decimal points, you can always use the decreased decimal places here. Um, and as you begin to analyze this, you know Penn State now instead of Ohio State leads the way uh, with 106. Uh, uh, positive cases per a thousand students. Um, you know, Northwestern is still pretty low. Uh, you know, some of these other schools kind of shuffle around a bit. It's interesting to note that the two Michigan schools were pretty close to the median, 69 and 64 for Michigan and Michigan State. Uh, the median, I should say, uh, the mean, the average, 68.1. Uh, uh, you could determine the mean here uh, as well. Um, so, you know, it kind of takes care of the outliers in this process. And this makes for a nice little chart that you can add to your story um, and uh, you know, maybe even a little database uh, of, of total cases. Um, the answer sheet for this uh, is at the very bottom. Um, you can see there's three tabs here. This middle tab is the one for Big Ten cases. Uh, the answer sheet's right over here. For those of you who are teaching, this is a very good little uh, exercise. There's the answer sheet. Uh, all you have to do is, is highlight these. Uh, columns, if they're, uh, you know, uh, several di uh, uh, digits over, and just hit that decrease decimal points, and it rounds it off to a tenth, um, which works a lot better. Um, so you have the answer key there. Uh, you have Big Ten cases here, um, the exercise we just worked on. I also have a, a little tab over here if you want to work on filtering sometime uh, on your own. Uh, you can uh, filter out each school. Uh, there's 1,800 rows in this. This is all of the day-to-day -day data for each school and the number of cases they have. This is a running total over here in column F, uh, which is interesting um, because it has uh, some really interesting uh, data here. Confirmed cases and the number of tests given. Uh, uh, it, again, that's a rolling number. Um, so really cool little data set here uh, that some of my students at University of Illinois Chicago put together. Uh, you can find a lot more uh, data journalism, public records resources on journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, be sure to visit the site. Uh, it has all kinds of re free resources for you. Uh, and until next time, um, we will uh, hit you up with some more spreadsheet exercises. Thanks for listening in.